All right, so welcome to Zentino Music. First and foremost, all praises to the Heavenly Father, Yah, through His Son, Yahushua HaMashiach, the Messiah, through which all men shall be saved. Now, this video is going to be titled, They Tell Us Their Plans in the Movies and Video Games. I'm going to make this a, actually a brief video because I don't need to go too in-depth. Ain't nobody have time to just sit and uh, talk too, too much about certain things. It's just about... Because for me, these are more negative topics, and I don't really want to spend time on the negativity. That's why, first of all, I praise the Most High, keeping first and foremost at our at the tip of our foreheads, to top front of our front part of our thoughts, and uh, we'll be talking about the forehead in a moment. Um, so if I let's just pull this up here, I came across watching E3 the whole. Uh, thing where they showcase the games and stuff and there was a disturbing game actually that they showed this time around it's called Detroit so let's pull that Google page up here so you can see this uh, title Detroit um, I find this very funny actually it's just the fact that you know uh, talking about Babylon coming out of Babylon you know the cities are basically bullseyes you have to think about it if you want to wake up and be wise in this time of the end, um, living in a city is Sodom and Gomorrah, right? It doesn't matter what city you live in and what country, it doesn't matter. They're all Sodom and Gomorrah. And so the, the way to escape that is it, first, first, firstly to um, prepare yourself and leave the cities and um, find some type of refuge away from the chaos that will ensue, which would be World War Three and all type of programs, right? So I find it funny that this game is entitled Detroit, right? So it's saying, okay, and it's showing you one city, but this this represents all cities. And the, the creepy part about it is that the characters, when I saw the trailer or whatever they were showing, had a mark on their head. And once I, immediately being spiritual, I understood that that is the mark of the beast. Now, of course, stupid people that are unaware and they're just so fanciful and everything is just a joke and they just laugh at it. Oh, it doesn't mean anything. Now, who cares about those type of people? Because this is not for them. These uh, videos are for those who have an ear to hear and have eyes to see. So this uh, video game is actually showcasing, it's, it's trying to desensitize the population to the fact that when the mark is implemented, that, oh, well, it's, you know, it's just a normal type of thing. And at the same funny part about it, the characters, they show you that you're supposed to go save the people that have taken the mark they're trying to save them well we know that in the scriptures that once you've taken the mark of the beast you can't be saved once you've taken the mark you cannot be saved so is the mark a spit lies they say people i'm not going to debate about it uh is it a sunday law is it the day is it uh you know it doesn't really matter what the mark is it will be presented by the antichrist when he arrives and uh, even, to, even right now, the Antichrist has not been revealed. He has to be revealed. When he reveals himself, there will, it will be in the middle of that seven-year period, which will be the last three and a half years. At that point, the mark will be uh, established. So the mark doesn't get set up until you know three and a half years within the Antichrist reign. So Antichrist has to be revealed first. Anti-Messiah. The anti-son of God. He's the one who will declare himself to be God. And uh, people will be deceived by this one. So if we go to the book of Revelation. We will pull up the scripture for the, the mark. So here we got Revelation 13, verse 16. Also, it, it causes all, both small and great, both rich and poor, both free and slave, to be marked on the right hand or the forehead. 17. So that no one can buy or sell the beast or the number of his name. Revelation 14, 9. And another angel, a third, followed them, saying with a loud voice, If anyone worships the beast and its image and receives a mark on his forehead or on his hand, 
he also will drink the wine of God's wrath, poured full strength into the cup of his anger, and he will be tormented with fire and sulfur in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb, who is the Messiah. So, brothers and sisters, uh, this video that I, again, I'm just doing quickly is to show the times that we live in. They're going to release a game. This is supposed to come out in 2018. We live in, quote unquote, 2017. And so, if they're preparing that, uh, again, we know that September of this year, we have an alignment of stars. And that alignment is going to show us a birth of something. So I don't know if the Antichrist, this, you know, this son of perdition who is the Antichrist will be revealed at that time. I don't know if there's going to be a war. None of us know. But all we know is to stay sober and to watch because the time is coming and time is at hand. And if they got programs and games like this coming out in movies to keep people brainwashed and dead, then, uh, you know, again, make a choice to serve the Almighty and be saved. Uh, by his grace, by his love, who is love, God is love, the Elohim is love, the power is love, and um, we shall not fear. So, to all the brothers and sisters um, worldwide, peace, shalom, stay sober, uh, stay away from these games, just stay sober if you watch, if you check stuff out, but uh, keep your children away from this nonsense, raise them up in the word of the Most High. Um, and we have to remain diligent. Oh, lastly, talking about the forehead. The forehead and the hand. Well, the forehead re represents your thought process, your mind, your thinking. So that's why the mark, I don't know what it, if, what it truly means, but it might be a, you know, Satan wants to take us away from worshiping the, the creator. So it's about how we think. So we have to stay sober and be pure and follow the Messiah, follow what John the Baptist pointed to. He pointed to the light, so we have to follow that light, who is the Messiah. Uh, and then your right hand is, is like right ruling, righteousness, things that are right, you know, not wrong. Um, that's what the whole right hand means. So if, again, the mark, Satan wants to, he wants to disturb everything that is good. So he wants to disturb the righteousness, the right ruling. He wants to disturb our thinking and thought process. So again, stay sober, uh, wake up. Stay in the word. Raise your children right if you have children. If you don't, be like Paul. Be single. Be celibate. Stay uh, committed to the Most High. Let's try to do our best in this time that we live. All praise to the Most High through His Son, Yahushua HaMashiach. Uh, again, peace and shalom to all the brethren and sisters worldwide. Shalom.